So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the distance sensor. You can see the object with the double-sided arrow going to an, a wall. Uh, it wires in the same way. I put in port 2 just like I had my optical sensor in my previous videos. Uh, in the setup, you can see I have that existing motor. I'm going to come here to my distance sensor. I'm going to put it in port 2. And I'm just going to write a simple conditional program to control my motor. So I'm going to grab a forever loop because I want my program to be self-checking, an if statement for my logic. I'm going to come down to my operators. I'm going to grab an and statement, a greater than or less than there, and a greater than statement there. I'm going to come to my sensing. I'm going to choose my distance sensor. You're going to notice it's in millimeters. I like to change it to inches so my students can understand. I'm going to plug that in. And I'm basically going to say is if my sensor reads something greater than three inches or less than an inch, I want that this to occur. Now, my AND statement, I'm going to duplicate all of this and make mo both conditions uh, true. So I'm, what you're going to see is I want it to make it if it's less than three but greater than one. So if it's in between those marks, I want something else to occur. So it's really simple. I'm going to duplicate my if statement so I can stick each of these in. And if it's greater than three, do this. If it's less than one, do this. If it's less than three but greater than one, do this. I'm going to stack them all together. Now I'm just going to do some simple motor commands. I'm going to spin my motor forward if it's greater than three. I'm going to spin my motor in reverse if it's less than one, and I'm going to stop my motor if it's uh, in between three and one. So I'm going to download that program. Forgetting to save, of course. So now I'm going to click on run and you're going to see there's no object out there. So it's going to run forward as I bring my hand into that one to three, it's going to uh, turn off. And if I go it all the way to one inch, it's going to spin forward. If I use my devices menu as well, I can click on that distance center and I can see it detecting that object. It gives me a nice visual. It gives me in millimeters and than the readout of that. So you can see as it's detecting that object, it'll detect the size of it. So it'll give me total control of this as well. In the previous videos, you could also print on the cortex what the distance is.